our previous video, I said that we were going to be working on putting up some fencing for the bunnies and the guinea pigs because they're cleaning up the weeded areas in our yard. Well, here it is. Well, Clay did all the work on the fencing and I did the work on catching up the bunnies and the guinea pigs. Clay helped me a little bit with that part because they were hard to get so I was on the outside or he was on the outside and I was on the inside trying to get them to come and finally we got them all but here they are they are going to clean up the area over here around the pond one of the bunnies was so happy he was jumping so you can see that they like this is just a big round circle <laughs> I was we walking around it and uh they're probably a little timid around me after catching them up like that. I had to catch up a couple in a net. And then two I was able to just pick up. And then one guinea pig I was able to pick up. And the other one I had to put in the net. Because they were starting to run. But this is that old peach tree. I don't know if there's much food on it. But they'll probably want to sharpen or rather grind their teeth on this bark but the guinea pigs were out but they're all checking out all the stuff so they're gonna clean all these weeds out and so he's in there eating they're having a good time this over here is some corn just picked some corn and I threw the husk in there for them they'll eat that up in that mess is a pond there's some little frogs in there and stuff but let's see there's bunnies there. Around there's some aster I planted. Look how tall that aster got. And there they are. Like I said, they're probably a little timid. He's over there probably checking out the pond. So you'll get to see this all cleaned up. They move quick when they're on the move. So I never really thought about rad rabbits for cleaning up brush, but these guys work probably just as good as a goat and uh, they cleaned up over there I'll show you how good it, it looks Clay knocked down some weeds that were on the outside that they couldn't reach but they got almost everything inside I mean they got it right down and they probably would have cleaned up more but I wanted to move them because I've been feeding them pellets and apples and all kinds of things because I was worried that they wouldn't have enough to eat so I didn't want to have to have them just eat every little pa last piece of grizzle, <laughs> so to speak. So as you can see, if you saw the previous video, the only things they didn't get were the weeds on the outside. But inside, look, they got it right down to the bottom. So there's no point in leaving them in here because they can't get anything else. So... I, of course, I'm still feeding them pellets and other things, but mainly I'm letting them feast on that good grass and weeds along with their pellets and peaches and apples and all the scraps from the house. But this way they can graze all day long. And um, we're going to put some shade up for them, obviously. They're, they can get a little bit of shade right now in the weeds, but... We just set this up, so we're going to set up something so that they can get a lot more shade. But right now, I mean, they're okay if they go into the brush, but right now, um, we're just kind of getting them settled. And I mean, this has only been up for maybe, I don't know, probably less than an hour, maybe an hour. But already they're relaxing. See, they found a shaded spot, but... There'll be shade as the sun moves around, but we want to give them more shade because we want to make sure they have a place to go to if it starts to rain and all that so they're not soaking wet. As I did in the other pen too, I moved things around, took things out and stuff. So their water's here, which I can use the hose, or if it rains, they can get fresh rain water rather than bottles in the setup that they're in. And uh, guinea pigs are in the brush. But I'll show you these guys as they're in this mess. 
so to speak. And you can watch them as they're cleaning it up. I think the next mess we're going to have them work on is by the greenhouse and then over near the bees. There's some brush that way, but we'll see how far we get before it's time they go to freezer camp. And of course, like I said, you don't want to just feed your rabbits just grass and stuff because they have to have things to help fatten them up for freezer camp. So that's the life. Look how happy they are. One of them was so happy he's just jumping and bouncing around. So they like it in here. They'll have a good time in here. Plus they'll have some places to hide from the hawks and predators that come a lot. We don't have a top on this. You don't have to see my little guinea pig and my little blackies in there. It's here and that. But uh, they can kind of hide from predators. But we'll keep setting up things as we go along to keep them safe and secure. I mean, obviously you don't want them out in the open in the hot sun and all that. They need shade, food, water, and a place to hide. So this is just the beginning to just get them started. So we're gonna have some supper and take a nap and then uh, get some more things done around here. So I'm getting tired, Clay's getting tired. It's been a long day. Like every day, it's a long day. So gotta keep things moving along. I don't think I see Blackie in there or not. She's back there eating some stuff. Brownie's in here somewhere. Brownie was hard to catch. He was actually the last one to go in here. That's my other guinea, male guinea pig. So, and he's usually super, super friendly. So, how you doing there? Oh, yeah, these guys are a little skittish. So, don't catch me. I'm happy here. But they're enjoying that. So, we usually put goldfish too, but we couldn't even put the goldfish in there this year because it was so brushed up unless somebody survived from last year, which I doubt. But there were other things in there like bullfrogs and other things in that little pond. So, but usually we have goldfish and things like that to keep any mosquitoes down. But um, I, I know that there's other things in there, but we'll go back to putting goldfish in there and everything too next year because it's almost winter time. But we'll see what happens. Yep, they don't want to be near me. <laughs> usually, sometimes they like they were came right up to me, and then when I grabbed a couple of them, then it was like, wait a minute, she's moving us around. So here they are. I'll tell you, a lot of people don't like buck rabbits. They feel like they only need one on the farm, but for our purposes, the bucks were perfect. We didn't have any babies, didn't have to deal with litters. All we had was a bunch of bucks that cleaned up our yard and for freezer camp at the end of the year. So I don't know, but I, I probably might do just bucks next year. Something that to consider, because a lot of times, you know, everybody wants the females because of the babies. They want one buck and they don't want all those boys, but something to think about if you have areas that you're cleaning up in your yard no matter where you live because you can have bunnies in a residential area because they're not noisy they don't crow or anything so something to think about just make sure they have a if you leave them outside that they're secure so a predator can't get them perfect weed eaters better than a goat because they're little you can handle them and if you're like clay and i we're older we're retired a goat would be probably too much for us because if I can't handle the animal if it runs away or something that'd be too much for me okay guys like subscribe tell me what you think about our weed eating crew and if you would ever consider it and what you think about it and if you have ever used bunnies to clean up your yard or if you raise meat rabbits or if you have them for pets let me know what you think Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.